In this presentation, I'm going to show how we can copy properties from a file uh, to a folder inside of Enterprise PDM. Um, we find that some people will organize their data by project, and so you'll have a project number where all the information related to a project might be stored. Uh, including in that folder might be a file that we use for actually tracking the project. Um, in Enterprise PDM, a folder cannot be put on a workflow, but a file can. And so generally people will have a file that that is pushed down a workflow to represent the stage gate process for that particular uh, project. Um, but what also uh, some people want to see is the status or certain pieces of information automatically populating to the folder as well so that the same reports from a file level can also be shown at the folder level. Um, I'll show you an example of how this might work. So we have a Microsoft project file that's that's on a workflow um, and right now it's in the project status of engineering and by simply um, just doing a modify and change state here and and identifying that their engineering review is complete, it's now pushed to the manufacturing status. Now generally that would be all that's necessary, but in some cases people want to see that same status or other things populated on the project folder card as well as the file card. So we see the data card tab here. If I go to the NPI projects, I can also see the data card here and it has a, manu a project status a manufacturing to essentially match the file that's inside of that particular um, uh, project. So at a glance you could see project folders and you could see all of their statuses. Um, and then we can drill down inside the project folder again and if we wanted to transition the manufacturing or transition from manufacturing stage to the next stage again we can change state, manufacturing review complete Again, that updates now operations um, to the operation stage, and then we go to the Microsoft project or to the project folder, and there that one's also in operation stage now. So uh, we can update a number of properties, um, and you can see that stored on the card, and now it's searchable, um, so that you can have a, a nice report from a folder level, and you can see some of the same uh, characteristics that you're going to see at the file level on the actual file that we're tracking. Um, this is done not using any API or anything, it's using uh, Dispatch, um, and from Dispatch it's under Administrate Actions. In here I have a folder property update, and I'm just setting properties on the current folder path of the f for that file. I'm updating that with the status, and uh, it's very easy to set up. Uh, you just have to do that for um, um, on a state change is when you would trigger the event. Um, so that wraps up uh, the presentation.